So I just want to take a really quick second to explain why we flip the charges. So for example, with um, aluminum ion interacting with chloride ion to make aluminum chloride, why does the charge of the aluminum end up as the number of atoms of chloride? And similarly, why does the, num the charge of the chloride become the number of atoms of the aluminum? Why does this make sense? Okay, and the idea here is that we want the overall charge to be zero. Notice how there's no charge right here. We want the overall charge of the molecule to be zero. Okay, and so that's really why we end up flipping the charges. So let's go ahead and just write this out a different way. Um, make my brush size a little bit bigger there. So we've got Al3+, plus, and we've got Cl2-. minus. If we added these up exactly as they are with one of each, overall the charge would be three positives minus two, the charge would be positive one. We don't see that charge here. It can't possibly be that. So we have to figure out a number of these and a number of those in order to get the charge equal to zero. Okay. So let's add in one more of each. Three plus and Cl2, oops, I almost wrote plus, my goodness, 2 minus. <coughs> okay, so right now we've got six positives and we've got four negatives, so our overall charge is going to be positive um, 2 right now. And we see a really easy way to make, to make that positive 2 go away is add in one more chloride, right? So if we do it this way, I mean, I'm going to erase, erase my thing right now. Okay, if we do it this way, overall our charge for our positives is 6 plus. And right now our charge for our negatives is 6 minus. So our overall charge is nothing, which is exactly what we want. We don't want any charge for this molecule. So if we were to write it out now, we get Al, and we have two of those, right? One, molecule one, molecule two. For our Cl's, we've got three of those. So the way that we denote that is with the subscript three. Here's number one, here's number two, here's number three. Okay, and then looking at this, this is exactly the same thing that we got before, Al2, Cl3 because the easiest way to figure out the charges that you'll need is the aluminum needed this many it needed two in order to be correct and the chloride needed three in order to be correct and so we know this from the charges and that's actually the simplest way to solve some of these types of problems in algebra is if you switch um, then you end up with an even number. So three, we would take uh, a three charge, multiply that by two. This two charge, we'd multiply that by three, and that's how we get end up with the formula. So that's why we end up flipping the charges, is so that we end up with the correct formula with the correct neutral compound.